for tuning in to YouTube channel for Robin Marvy. <laughs> yeah, that was our friend Bob. He has a way of catching fish. He thinks that if you just kind of don't let him think that you're interested in catching them, bam, you do get them. And uh, anyway, he, he did actually was quite successful with that technique. I've got to write that down and and maybe do that one myself. Veronica, I'm sorry, Veronica, thank you for being our newest Patreon supporter. We really love that. And you're another nomad, which makes it even more challenging for you, and yet you still see the value in what we do, and, and we appreciate it. And for those of you who are interested, go on down to uh, the links that are below for Patreon. And a couple of my subscribers said they love us, they're following us. It's just not financially good for them. You guys, don't do it if you are strapped at all and don't feel like there's any pressure i just uh, do appreciate the folks who can could, can uh, support us with two dollars or more a month and uh we really do appreciate it so thanks again veronica for being our newest one okay on with the show so um we had such a great time with uh bob and uh his wife carol wonderful camp hosts um at Dry Lake Campground, uh, just outside of uh, Steamboat Springs, uh, he took me up to the lake. Okay. This is my okay, okay. This is my buddy Bob, and uh, this is where Bob is taking me fishing. Believe it or not, I've never been here, but Bob has been here forever. And so, uh, but tell me about that peak up there, just real quick. You said it was Hans Peak, something about some guy who lost his legs or what? Yeah, back in the turn of the centuries in the 1870s, this guy came up here and he was from Norway. Came all the way to the top of this peak and he was a prospector mining for gold. And one winter, winter he lost all his legs due to frostbite walking from that point beeline that way about a hundred miles to Granby all on snowshoes or on Norwegian skis this is Steamboat Lake it was settled by a gentleman back in the 1930s Mr. Fletcher and didn't know anything, but he was a mechanical engineer. Came, came back from the war and made it one of the most beautiful ranches and had to do everything with the growth of steamboat and the ski area itself. Perfect. All right. Let's go fishing. <laughs> I love you, my friend. <laughs> I'm so happy I met you, by the way. Me too. You Where know, you? I mean, you're a great guy. And and we went fishing as you saw and uh, caught some fish and it back into town uh, on the way up to see Marvy and his wife Carol. We picked up a buffalo steak because I was in the mood for meat. And uh, so uh, Bob's a great cook and uh, we had a wonderful uh, trout and buffalo steak dinner. So thank you guys very much for all of that. Wow, it's been a crazy week. I can tell you that we've a week and a half actually. We um, had a phenomenal drive up over the pass on Highway 14, which goes from Steamboat Springs into Fort Collins. And uh, just along the way, we saw some beautiful scenery. I'm going to save that for this little vignette coming at the very end, because uh, this is a short video, so you guys can make it till the very end, trust me. Anyway, it's just a short little scenery of some of the things that we've seen along the way. Uh, we rolled into Colorado Spring, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, um, Fort Collins is what I meant. Uh, 14 goes into Fort Collins, and then we dropped down into Boulder. Now, I was in Boulder uh, back in 79, and uh, it was not nearly as big and developed as it is now, but it's still a beautiful town, so if you get a chance to go to Boulder, uh, it's great. It's got some great restaurants and oh by the way a uh, shout out to my good friend Steve uh, I have not seen him since high school or a little bit after high school and uh, so 40 some odd years and we picked up right where we left off you know with a few more wrinkles and stuff and uh, 
uh, and he uh, took us out for lunch and we had a great lunch and a long conversation and I'm looking forward to seeing him and our other uh, childhood friend or teenage friend a friend from a long time ago Leah and we're gonna see them hopefully this weekend um, but that's about it for now um, one final thing is um, what if Amazon calls it uh, Prime Days. If you're a Prime member or you want to be a member, um, you can just sign up. And uh, Or if you're a Prime member, they're going to have a big sale next week and all of that. If you end up doing that and you want to take advantage of some Amazon stuff, why don't you go to our link below or go to our website, robandmarvy.com and uh, go to anywhere on any of the pages and there's an Amazon link. We're an affiliate and so if you click on that link, anything you buy uh, while you're logged on, we will get a small compensation for it without uh, any charge to you at all. So that's another way to help support our channel. Um, other than that, we're, we are now at Williams Fork Reservoir and uh, I'm kind of putting together a pretty good video on that one too, so don't miss that one next week. In the meantime, share the videos. Please share the videos. We're trying to grow the channel. Thumbs up really helps us out also. And of course, there's some of you guys that make comments all the time. I never get tired of reading comments or I really, really, really do make an effort to either acknowledge it or respond if I can. So please uh, give us some feedback, keep it constructive and uh, and that's about it for now we will see y'all down the road